And the race for the leadership of the Senate is heating up with inauguration of the 10th Assembly just a little over a week away. While the ruling All Progressives Congress has released its zoning formula for the Parliament's uh, leadership, but some contenders say the formula is unfair. Uh, Senator-elect Osita Izunaso has declared that he will be the next Senate president. He says he's leading the Southeast quest for the Senate uh, presidency. And, of course, he joins us now in the studio. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Senator-elect Osita Izunaso, for joining us on Newsnight. Thank you so much. Ah, you believe you're the best man for the job. I'd like to find out more about that. But let's even now imagine that you're the uh, 10th Senate president as we speak, and you have this fuel uh, subsidy debacle <laughs> going on. Uh, how would you handle it? Because it looks like the 9th Assembly presently is uh, seemingly aloof, you know, not even interfering at all, well, or intervening. Um, removal of fuel subsidy is a necessity. It is something that ought to be done. It is something that I think has already been done, even pres before President uh, Tinubu came in. But I believe that the bone of contention is the palliative. Right. There ought to be some cushioning effect of the removal of first subsidy because it goes throughout the whole sectors of the economy. So there must be some cushioning effect. I'm glad that President Tunubu said uh, he might look into increasing the wage bill. That will go a long way. And you know that we're going to gain about six to seven trillion if first of these eventually removed on paper on paper <laughs> yeah but but but, 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 but <coughs> you start with paper so that means that even if you invest one trillion or two trillion to uh, raise the, the wages of our workers that will go a long way but i believe that palliative ought to have been done first and there are so, some low-hanging palliatives right that ought to have been done like. before you said you have you're removing subsidy but let us not dwell extensively on that. On that. Okay, so let's hear. I mean, you have this confidence that you are, you will be the next, you know, Senate, uh, president. Senate president. Yes, <laughs> by the special grace of what God. What gives yes. you that confidence? Yeah, because my colleagues are actually rooting for me, mm. and they're not on the pages of newspapers, but they're looking at a whole lot of things. They're looking at capacity. They're looking at integrity. They're looking at a new face for the National Assembly. So they're rooting for me even without making noise about it. But the party already zoned it to somewhere else mm. and to someone else, as a matter of fact. So how does your ambition tie up with the internal politics? No, but how, how does that sound even in your mouth, that the party has zoned to somebody? How? The party never zoned to anybody. I've made this clear severally. There could have been a recommendation somewhere, but even as we're talking, the party is still consulting. Are you not aware that our governors are consulting us now? We are discussing. We are consulting. Yeah, Last, but, 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 but you, you are aware that since President Trump has been sworn in, there has been a high level of consultation going on. So if it is uh, something that is concluded, then why would there be consultation going on? Okay, speak, to us, about, speak to us about the internal politics and how you are a sportsman yes. if the party says um, we are not zoning it to your zone yes. and it's going elsewhere speak to us about your ability uh, to be magnanimous or your ability to be uh, to be considerate of other zones and then play the politics the way the party no, wants. But you know I believe that it is a turn of the southeast to produce a next Senate president that's my belief and I'm working towards my belief apart from that belief we also have people from the Southeast who are capable, I'm extremely capable of doing that job. So I do not agree with you that the issue of zoning is concluded. In politics, 24 hours is a big time. So don't forget about what you read on the page of newspapers. Mm. Things are beginning to change. Things are changing. Yeah, but that issue, and I can assure you that, to yeah? have, that issue really did yes. ruffle some feathers. And mm. it looks like the leadership of the party itself and the president seemed to be backtracking on the idea of deciding mm. where 
you know, uh, the chips should uh, fall yes. for the Senate presidency. I'm happy that, that, seems that you're to saying be what, that. That yes. seems to be what is going yes. on now. I'm, I'm happy that, that you're saying that yeah. because your, your colleague said it's been concluded. How no, I didn't no, say that. Didn't, no, no, I didn't, didn't say that. that. Didn't I didn't say, say that. that. <laughs> I would have said that in the, in the <laughs> yeah. event that, yes. at the, what I said was, in the event that it's zoned to a particular plan, there's a consensus. Yes. If yeah. there is a consensus, how are you willing no, to if, accept if, that? If there's a consensus... The word consensus means that we have all agreed. Absolutely. And so if there's a, a consensus, who am I not to agree when there's a consensus? But as I'm talking to you, there's no consensus. Well, what consultations yeah. are you making personally? No, there are a whole lot of consultations. People are, the party is consulting. The governors are, are consulting. Right. Some critical stakeholders in the party are also consulting. And we believe that sooner or later, even the president himself will also consult some of us who are in APC or even in other political parties. So because it is not yet Uhuru. Uh -huh. And please let us also be mindful of the fact that the opposition senators elect are 50 in number. 50 in number. Uh -huh. APC is 59. So it is not a very comfortable majority. What it means is that if you have five votes from APC going to the opposition, getting 55, you can swing it to the opposition. So you're, you're saying mm. we're likely to see a repeat of 2015 then? I no, mean, no, no, are no. You, are you consulting with the opposition we are uh, parties that make up about we 50? Are, we are consulting with everybody. And then again, uh, the president, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has said, I don't know if you can verify this, that only one candidate can rise at a time to vote for one, I mean, one, only one senator can you know, vote for one candidate no, openly in the, can, no, or can nominate a candidate. No, in the Senate, you know, it's secret ballot in the Senate. Right. So if it's secret ballot, a senator-elect will stand up to nominate another senator for Senate president. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, there will be a seconder. Thereafter, the person so nominated will accept the nomination. Then after that, the clerk will call for another nomination. Mm. If there's an under nomination, then there'll be election. Except when the clerk calls for another nomination, nobody says anything. He calls for nomination the third time. Mm -hmm. Then the person so nominated would have been declared unopposed. But so long as there's another nomination, then it will end on the ballot. So how do you think uh, the mm -hmm. fact that the deputy speaker position yes. has been zoned to your zone? The southeast. Yeah. How is that going to affect? No, but you your, know, how is that I, you know, to you know. I chances? told you that there's no oh, zoning. You're saying no zoning. No but zoning. In no, the event I don't even believe in that zoning. Still, <laughs> uh, yeah. in, in any case, how would anybody look at southeast and say what southeast should get will be deputy speaker? Is it fair to southeast as a zone? Mm -hmm. It's not fair to southeast mm -hmm. as a major zone in this country. You look at the entire southeast. You say, okay, what they can get is deputy, deputy speaker of the House of Representatives. That is not fair enough. What's fair enough? What is fair enough mm. is Senate President for Southeast. Right, okay, that let's, was fair let's even come to, I mean, beyond the issue of whether it should be zoned or not. Mm. What exactly is your agenda? What kind of 10th Assembly would you be leading if you were uh, Senate President? I'm looking at the 10th Senate that should be rebranded. We should rebrand. And there are some faces you need to rebrand. There are some faces that you cannot need, use to rebrand. I'm one of the faces that we can use to rebrand the 10th Senate. So I believe we should rebrand the Senate. I also believe that there should be a legislative agenda to look at what the Nigerians want at this particular point in time. For example, if the 10th Senate is in place, we'll probably have to look at the issue of first subsidy before it will eventually be removed. We are going to also look at the national, I mean, national cohesion, national integrity. There must be a country. You must have a country to govern. Right. Well, we also have to look at security of this country. Things are not the way they ought to be. We also have to look at the issue of youth unemployment mm -hmm. and restiveness. So these are the things that will form the 10th Senate legislative agenda. Mm -hmm. That I want to lead a robust Senate. That will cooperate with the executive. It's, uh -huh. not going to be, it's, it's not going to be confrontational. Don't right. forget that we are all elected to serve our people. We're not elected to fight each other. But where the powers of the executive stop, then the powers of the legislature begins.
Yeah, but, but it, it, it does seem from, I mean, uh, past experience with the last how many, uh, you know, legislatures that Nigeria has had, yeah. uh, not much in terms of the checks and balances, separation of powers. That is what we're the saying. The lines seem to be no, very, no, no, very blurred no, no, between no. the executive and the legislature. That, and that, that has been said about this no, outgoing no, matter. That is, that is what, what I'm saying. Mm. I'm saying that we're going to cooperate with the executive. We're well, not going, uh, well, cooperate. We're not, no, cooper, we're by not going another to, word, we're means not going to be rubber stamp. No, no, no. That know, is not cooperating. Is not rubber stamp. Right. No, that is not rubber stamp. There's where their their powers stop, the other powers begin. Mm -hmm. If there are things that the executive bring forward that is not right, it is your responsibility to draw the attention to the fact that this is not right. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that you are going to start fighting them. You are going to dialogue. You disagree to eventually agree. So, right. so are you telling me now, for example, mm -hmm. if the judiciary removes the governor, are you going to say that they're not they're confronting the executive, for example? They're doing their job. Right. Hmm. Distinguished Senator Elect, huh? now the, the challenge here is um, you are from the southeast. Yes. And um, your zone has held that position for at least five times. Yes. So what else do you want? No, that is a wrong assumption. You are talking about 1999 till, till date. To 2007. Seven. That's yeah. what they are talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, within this period, you are talking about South South have had Vice President of Nigeria. South South have had President Good Lord Jonathan. So, can you please kindly exchange it? Give us the President of Nigeria and take the Senate President. The South is haven't gotten anything. Right. So, how. Are you making the argument? Because we hear that you've been consulting very strongly, seriously, yes. with uh, Abdulaziz Yari, for example, people like that. I mean, he's from the no, Northwest. Um, They've been Yari, claiming Yari, that he belongs. Yari, I can tell you, Yari, yeah. Yari, we're talking. We're talking with Yari. Right. We're also talking with uh, my brother, Ojo Zakalo. We're discussing. Mm -hmm. All of us who are contesting are, are talking. That is why, at the end of well, the day... What exactly? I mean, if you can let us into no, no, what... No, 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 no. No, no, no. The, when, the when, basic thing when that I say, put out there... When I said that we're yeah. talking... Are you saying, it's can not you a step matter down? Are you saying, can you step down No, 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 no. What, what, what no, no. exactly are yeah, you... Well, those are all the ingredients of talking. Right. But the most important is that we're talking. Because we're looking at deepening democracy. We're looking at strengthening democracy. That is why, even, even Ablaziz himself... Or even the audios of Kalu, none of them will tell you here that they're going to fight the executive. They're not going to fight the executive. We have agreed that we're not fighting the executive. Yeah, Nigerians don't expect the legislature to fight exactly. the executive necessarily. But no, 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 no. No, 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 no that are being confrontational. No, like, no. The like Nigerian on, people on, on, are on, more on, enlightened than that. On the watch yeah. of the Ninth Assembly, yes. Nigeria raked up a debt of about 77 trillion, if my math serves me right. Yeah. And as far as many Nigerians are concerned, it was like as soon as President Buhari, outgoing president, asked for a loan, or, you know, the law to back it, <laughs> the, the, no, the legislature us, just goes ahead no, and, is, you know, no, puts that, pen to paper. No, that is not true. Let us watch what will happen in the 10th Senate that I will lead by the special grace of God. Tell us what will happen. What will happen is that when we have something like this, mm -hmm. then we have to do our job. There are legislative check and balancings between the executive and legislature. If something that is not proper is brought to us, we have to say, no, this is not proper. Let us do it the other way around so that it can be, it can be proper. Because there are uh, so many things that are happening that people don't even know what is going on. Mm -hmm. People believe what they want to believe without even knowing the truth. So the executive may have defended it properly, but he won't know. He won't get to know. One good example that I keep telling people mm -hmm. is what they call constituency project. Right. Nigerians just believe that constituency project is a money that is paid to a senator or the member of the House of Representatives. That is not correct. So what exactly is it? No such money, is, no, no such money is paid to any legislator. It is the things that are put in the budget for that person's constituency that the executive, that is MDAs, ministries, departments and agencies, will eventually implement. So that does not even mean that if a senator puts in a particular job in the budget, that that senator will influence the person that will do that job, the contractor. That is not correct. Would you be looking at bringing back the gender laws, for example? What laws mm. do you think really need to see the light of day? Very quickly. Mm. No, well, well, uh, well uh, a lot of laws we need to, to look at. Gender mm. laws, of course, I will go for it. I will go for laws that will enhance 
persons with disability in this right. country. We have over 23 million persons with disability in this country. The first legislative framework we have is not elegant enough. There are loopholes. I intend to bring a law to amend it because I believe that there should be a tax regime for persons with disability in this country. Okay, now, uh, okay. It's, we, we, we know, to. yes, we have to go. <laughs> we, we have to go. We, we don't have yeah. a lot of time. Uh, what's left now is for us to wish all the best in, in your ambition. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for joining us. And I saw a senator representing Imo West Senatorial uh, District.